Craft Artist enables you to save your own digikits with graphics you've made, bought, or downloaded. You can save any image file as part of a Craft Artist digikit, and you can tag each item so it appears in the digikit browser, ready to use on your craft projects. This video will show you how to use the digikit creator and how to create your own items to save in your digikit. Get started. The first thing to bear in mind when you're creating a digikit is that anything you've loaded in the tabs on the left or in the My Digikit sections of the brushes, stencils, graphic stars and punches will be saved as part of your kit. So for example, if you add a kit through the Digikit browser, then add other items, every single one you've loaded will be saved in your kit. When you first start making a Digikit, we would advise starting with a blank 12 by 12 page. Click Blank Project from the Startup Wizard and choose Scrapbooks 12 by 12. Now close the Digikit browser without adding anything to your workspace. You should now have a blank page with no items in any of the My Digikit categories. Adding items to your kit. First, we'll show you how to add the base items to your Digikit, so anything that goes in the tab on the left. You can add image files through the Photos tab or through the Digikit Creator itself. To add images through the Photos tab, click the Add button, then find the graphics you'd like to add. To add graphics directly into the Digikit Creator, first you'll need to open it by going to Tools, Digikit Creator. Click on the category you'd like to add to and choose Import, Add Files or Add Folder. Add Files will allow you to select individual graphics that you'd like to add. Add Folder will simply add the whole folder of graphics. We would recommend organising your files before you try to create your Digikit, like this. We've created separate folders for each category and saved each file in the appropriate folder. This makes it much easier for saving our kit. You can drag items from each category into a different one, like this. You can also rearrange your items by dragging them. This is especially handy for putting your alphabet in order. Adding embellishments. Once you've added your images through the Photos tab or Digikit Creator, we would recommend that you drag each item onto your page in turn. Resize each one so that it fits correctly onto a 12x12 12 12 page. This way, whatever size project you make, you will know that your graphics are good enough quality. Once you're happy, drag each item back into the category on the left and delete the original. Adding backgrounds and materials. Next, add your backgrounds and materials. Craft Artist will automatically fit the backgrounds to whatever page you're using. Material papers are normally 8x8 inches as standard. Adding frames. Creating frames is a little bit more complicated than the other items in the Digikit. We've created a short video that will teach you everything you need to know about creating your own frames. You can find it on the Craft Artist playlist of our YouTube channel. Adding letters. You can add your own letters, numbers and special characters to a Digikit. These may be imported as image files or created on your page. There are two ways of doing this. The first way is to import your characters as images. Click on Letters and click Import. Now add your letters as individual files or add the whole folder. Craft Artist will automatically bring up a keyboard for you to tag your letters and characters. Click the appropriate tag for your item or choose No Letter. You can either type your character and click OK or use the mouse to select it. You can rearrange your letters, just click and drag them. The second way to add your letters is directly from your page. Once you've created the letters and characters, drag them into the Letters tab on the left. As with the first method, the keyboard will automatically appear and you can tag your characters. You can adjust the letters so that they appear correctly on the page. 
For example, if I type in some letters, you might notice that the G, P and Y letters are too high in comparison to the others. You can tweak these to appear correctly. Click on the appropriate letter in the DigiKit Creator Click Tweak. You can now adjust the baseline, the assigned character, spacing and offset values so that it appears lower down. Once you've finished tweaking your letters, make sure you check them on the page before saving your DigiKit. Adding layouts. You can add all types of projects as layouts in your DigiKit. This includes scrapbooks, cards and party crafts. First, you'll need to design your layout. We would recommend doing this after you've finished tweaking all your embellishments and making sure your frames work. That way, you know the layouts have the latest items on them. Once your layout is ready, you can either click Add as DigiKit Layout on the Pages tab at the bottom of the screen or in the DigiKit Creator, click Add on the Layouts tab. Using this method, you will be prompted to choose the pages you'd like to add as layouts. If you've created a project like a greetings card with multiple pages, add it as a content template and all the pages will be saved. Individual layouts can also be added, just uncheck the pages you don't want to add as layouts. Make sure you save your DigiKit. You can save your layouts as part of a category so that they appear correctly in the Choose a Template window. To do this, once you've added a layout to the DigiKit Creator, click Tweak. Now choose a project type. You can add a category path to further categorise your layout. This will be visible on the right hand side of the Choose a Template window. You can either enter your own subcategory or enter a category that already exists. Make sure you use a backslash before your category path. Adding brushes. You can create and save your own brushes with Craft Artist 2. These can be painted onto the page using the brush tool located on the top toolbar. There are two ways to create your own brushes. The first is through the DigiKit Creator. Click Brushes on the left, then Create. You can make either a stroke brush or spray brush. You can also add brushes from the Brushes tab. First select the Global category and then click either Add Stroke or Add Spray. At the top of the window, you'll need to select the My DigiKit category. Then your brush can be saved as part of your own DigiKit. There is a detailed help section on brushes which explains the differences between the brushes and how you can make them. You can view this by clicking Help, then Craft Artist Help. Adding swatches. The easiest way to add colour swatches to your DigiKit is directly from the DigiKit Creator. Click Swatches, then Colours. This will open up the colour palette designer. Our little tip here is to have your embellishments tab open on the workspace with a good selection of colours on display. This way you can colour pick directly from your DigiKit and you'll know the colours coordinate perfectly with your DigiKit. Once you've picked a colour, drag it to the palette tab on the right. We've created another video on how to use the colour palette designer. You can view it on our YouTube channel. 
When you've finished adding colours, click OK to close the colour palette designer and save your digikit. Add in graphic styles. You can save your own graphic styles as part of a kit, for example, any shadows you create that you'd like to use again. In the Digikit Creator, click Graphic Styles. Click Create. Design your style, and when you've finished, click OK. Adding stencils. To create your own stencils and punches, first you'll need to select the My Digikit category on either punches or stencils. Now drag an item from your project page and drop it into the tab. Craft Artist will automatically create your punch and a matching stencil for you. Now save your Digikit. Tagging. We would recommend tagging every item in your Digikit as well as the kit itself. This will help you to find your items through the Digikit browser. To add tags, click on an item and then type your tags into this white box. With Craft Artist 2, you can cut, copy, paste, and delete tags by right clicking them. Few more things to bear in mind. When you save your Digikits, by default, they're saved to your My Digikit folder. To save to a different location, choose a different folder. If you change the location, make sure you add it to the default Digikit locations, located in Tools, Options, Digikit Locations, so that Craft Artist knows where to locate the Digikit. This checkbox here relates to the preview for your Digikit. We would recommend creating a preview file that helps you recognise your kit easily. Do this on the main page, then add as Digikit layout and make sure this box is ticked. If you want to make changes to your kit, make sure you load it through the Digikit creator. Otherwise, when you save the kit, your preview layout will not be present. If you've something opened already in the workspace, these will be removed when you load a different Digikit. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please check out the others on our YouTube channel.